Hey everybody, Hunter back again from Showtime Studios. Just going to do a um, a show recap of this weekend. Uh, as many of you know, I went to the uh, Tricon show on Saturday and we went to the South Hill show uh, on Sunday today and done very well. I had a great time hanging out with, you know, fellow builders and friends that we hadn't seen for a while and and uh, especially at South Hills, there was um, three or four guys that come in that I haven't seen for a couple of years, uh, just kind of walking through, you know, browsing the area and the uh, display area and also in the vendor area. So that was cool. And uh, we're just going to do a quick rundown of uh, what we picked up uh, at the show. And yeah, that's what we'll do. I'll show everybody uh, the things that Sandy won, uh, not me, but Sandy won them in the raffle. And also uh, some of the awards that we picked up. So I guess to get started, we're going to uh, go ahead and do the uh, Tricon show, uh, which was a show on Saturday. That's an IPMS show. It is a uh, what they call a GSB show, which stands for gold, silver, bronze. Uh, it's not a competition. You are awarded for, you know, uh, how good your build is on the table uh, by point system. And of course, like any other show, there was um, some unhappy people that, you know, weren't happy with the results and uh, feel that their model should have, you know, done better than it did or, you know, but you'll have that at any show you go to. So it wasn't anything different, but we had a real good time. And uh, Sandy played the raffle and one of the first kits that she won is um, a mini craft uh, NATO. This is one of the AWOC planes and uh, it's in one, one forty fourth scale. So it's a pretty big plane, but, I guess uh, in one one forty four scale, it's still pretty big. So we picked that up um, as a win in the raffle. So I don't know what I'll do with that. It's got wings on it, so I doubt if I'll ever get it done because I don't have any luck with building aircraft. But uh, we'll try one of these days. And uh, the next one that she won in the raffle is the Italeri HS one two three eight one. Uh, and I opened this up in the hotel last night. It seems to be a pretty cool little kit. Uh, seems to be molded pretty decent. So I don't know. Maybe, um, and it's pretty simplified. So I don't know. Maybe Showtime Studios might do an aircraft this year. We shall see. I'm not going to hold my breath, though. Uh, let's see. What else did we pick up? Um, she also won a 172nd scale uh, called Armor Fast, the Crusader 2. And I've never seen these little things before, but... On the back of it here is the instructions, and you can see how very simplified it is. But um, I haven't even opened up the box and looked at the parts and pieces in it. But it looks like something for like a in-between build or weekend build or something like that. You know, just to sit down and kind of throw together and take your mind off of all the um, in-depth builds. So we'll see what happens with that one also. And what else did we have? Da -da 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 -da. She also won a full set of decals uh, for a 172nd scale aircraft that's here on the back of it. And, of course, I don't have this particular aircraft, but uh, believe it or not, a lot of times on some of these aircraft decals like this, especially the small ones for 172nd scale, uh, a lot of you guys can, you know, there's certain things on here that if you're not building, you know, replica stock or something like that, you're doing something custom, you can grab one of these decals and use it for various things on your build, uh, especially if you're doing a custom build or anything like that. I find myself from time to time using um, some of these little stencils and stuff out of aircraft kits uh, just to, you know, since you can't really read the writing, uh, it gives you the illusion of something, you know, of saying something on the model. And you can put it in various places. So uh, always remember that, that some of these, if you go to a show, some of these aircraft um, stencil sheets or decal sheets are very handy for um, automotive use too. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have um, two magazines. And these are actually older magazines, but they give these out with the kits. Uh, Great Scale Modeling and Model Airplane International. Um, one of them's from 2011 and one's from 2006. So yeah, that's an antique there. Uh, but I got those, just a lot of nice builds in here, you know, just kind of, uh, ideas. You can look through them, even though they're older books, you can, you know, take a look through them and you might be inspired to do something that's in here or something similar to it. So that's always cool to get something like that. 
And as far as what she actually won in the raffle, that's pretty much it. Uh, we did no, I'm wrong. There is one more she won in the raffle and this happens to be mine. Uh, when we first went into the show, they had all the raffle stuff laid out and this was one of the special awards and they had a can in front of it and you got your raffle ticket and you just chose what can, um, that you wanted to put your tickets in, which is automotive or ships or aircraft or armor or whatever. And she put a couple uh, tickets in the automotive one. And believe it or not, which it's not hard for me to believe, she does it every time we go to a show, it seems like. Uh, I came out with a kit that I looked at as soon as I walked in the door and I said, man, I'd like to win that. And that kit is the FXX Tamaya. Beautiful car. Uh, I've been watching this kit for a while. And now that I know that uh, Scale Motorsports is actually um, shutting their doors and going out of business, um, they make a photo etch set for this. And I want to go ahead and order that and some more aftermarket stuff, but this will be a future build here at Showtime Studios. Uh, I think it'll go well with my uh, Bugatti that I've got, the full resin kit. So she gave this to me. She come back, was all excited uh, that she won it, and I was excited to uh, have her uh, give me this kit. So really uh, looking forward to doing something with it, and uh, we'll keep you updated. Probably do a, you know, a lot of updates and stuff when we get to this point, so stay tuned. Sometime in the near future, or Maybe the distant future. I don't know. We'll do something with it. So that's everything that she won uh, in the raffle. Uh, next up, a couple of things that we picked up just because we needed some supplies. Uh, went ahead and picked up a uh, bottle. What is this? This is the one ounce bottle of uh, BSI Industry Super Glue. Got it for six bucks, which isn't bad because it's a little bit more than that at my local hobby shop uh, for the one ounce. So we picked up one of those, and we also picked up uh, two packs of the uh, 10 millimeter Tamaya tape, and these are just the refills. I already have the dispensers, so got them uh, four bucks a piece, which wasn't bad. Um, and what else do we have? Okay, that's it on what we actually bought as far as supplies. Uh, she bought one kit up there that she wanted to do, and it is one of these Bandai kits. She bought the bear guy three and she was uh she looked at all the different bear guys that they had and uh she picked this one out so this goes over her side she's going to work on it it's a pretty cool little kit so hopefully she'll have good luck with it and to show you what it looks like build up you can see some of the pictures there on the side of it and you can do different faces on him um for different emotions and stuff so it's pretty cool she really likes this so that was good to um so she was able to pick up uh, something that she liked, um, something that wasn't car related or, you know, armor or aircraft or anything like that. So she picked up one of those. So uh, other than that, I mean, we uh, we had a great time there. I took up uh, to that show. I took six models and two models did not even get an award, uh, which, you know, kind of surprised me uh on both of them that they didn't even get a bronze award but you'll have that and i did very well with the other four models that i took so um i received a gold medal for the mercedes uh day cab a uh, little tractor that i did a bunch of videos on and a showcase video i also picked up a gold medal for the bedford uh tanker that i done I picked up a gold medal for the little uh, street rod that we did the build tutorial series on. They picked that one as a gold, uh, which kind of baffled me because it's not actually a gold model. Um, if you go by the judging system and the point system, uh, it may come in as a low silver or something like that. Uh, but I don't know. But that's what they gave me. So you know, I got it and it is what it is. And the last award that I picked up was a gold medal for the Pro Street VW Beetle that we just finished up. So that's all the awards that I picked up uh, for just regular uh, gold, silver, bronze awards. Uh, next up, I picked up the best auto engine detail. And this is actually for the VW Beetle. Uh, they really like the engine in that. So I got a special award for that. And the next award that I picked up is the Best Automotive Award. And believe it or not, this is not for the VW Beetle. This is actually for the Bedford Tanker Truck that I've done. 
Uh, being an IPMS show, they really, um, I think nowadays they tend to lean toward the weathering. If it's, you know, something that catches their eye and it looks the way they want it to look. And uh, it just so happens that they, they like the Bedford and uh, it got the best automotive award. And then the, the one award that really surprised me, um, I was kind of stunned on, did not expect it. Uh, I, I still feel there was better models, you know, in the show, but they also presented me with the judges best in show award uh, for the Bedford. And that was really a shock. Um, I, I'm, you know, I'm excited to have it and to get another best in show at an IPMS contest um, or IPMS show. That's not actually a contest up there, but um, that's it. That's what we've got as far as the awards. So it was a very rewarding day for my builds. And like I say, I didn't place with two of my models, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, there was some complaints on, you know, the judging and people feel that they should have got, you know, uh, got an award or, you know, should have got a better award. And I think that was across the board, um, not only in automotive, but it was also in armored aircraft and sci-fi and things like that. So, you know, it is what it is and you take it um, and, you know, just enjoy the day hang hanging out with fellow builders and talking models and, you know, catching up on old times and stuff like that. And, you know, just have fun and don't worry about the, um, the results a whole lot. If you build a quality model, um, most likely at a show, you're going to be rewarded for it. Um, if you build a so-so model, you're probably going to end up with so-so results. Uh, that's just the nature of shows and the nature of competition in general. But, um, well, yeah, like I say, I was real happy with the results for, from that show. Had a great time with everybody, and I uh, just wanted to let you guys know about it. So uh, that is my recap on the um, Tricon show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, that was held on Saturday. And a big shout out to the club members. Anybody who watches my channel from that club, uh, you guys put on, you know, a good show. It runs like clockwork. Uh, they actually got us out of there a little bit ahead of schedule, and that was cool. Uh, everything seemed to run very well, like it always does. So. Um, can't say enough good things about the, um, IPMS club, uh, three rivers club. So, uh, that's it. That's all we've got on that one. Stay tuned. We got the one coming up, the recap on the South Hills show, and, uh, we'll show you some more things that we picked up from that one today. So, um, that's it for now. Like always, this is Hunter from Showtime Studios and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.